The Army of the Czech Republic, also known as the Czech Army, is the military service responsible for the defense of the Czech Republic in compliance with international obligations and treaties on collective defense. It is also set to support peacekeeping, rescue and humanitarian operations both within the national territory and abroad. Armed forces consist of the general staff, the land forces, the air force and support units. From the late 1940s to 1989, the extensive Czechoslovak People's Army formed one of the pillars of the Warsaw Pact Military Alliance. After the dissolution of Czechoslovakia, the Czech Republic is completing a major reorganization and reduction of the armed forces, which intensified after the Czech Republic joined NATO on March 12, 1999. As defined by the Czech Law No. 219-1999 College. The armed forces of the Czech Republic are the military forces of the Czech Republic. They consist of the Army of the Czech Republic, the Military Office of the President of the Republic and the Castle Guard. Military history of the Czech people dates back to the Middle Ages and the creation of Duchy of Bohemia and Kingdom of Bohemia. During the Hussite Wars, Jan Sietzka became a military leader of such skill and eminence that the Hussite legacy became an important and lasting part of the Czech military traditions. European wars of religion once again wrecked the Czech lands, and at the Battle of White Mountain in 1620, Czech freedom was lost to the Habsburg monarchy. Throughout the centuries of foreign rule, the Czechs were subjected, at times, to intense Germanization. Nevertheless, Czechs maintained their ethnic identity and seized the opportunity for independence during World War I. Czechs and Slovaks deserted the armies of Austria-Hungary in large numbers to form the Czechoslovak Legion. The Czechoslovak Armed Forces were originally formed on June 30, 1918 when 6,000 members of the Czechoslovak Legion in France, which had been established in 1914, took oath and received a battle banner in Darny, France, thus preceding the official declaration of Czechoslovak independence by four months. There were also 50 OOO Legion soldiers in Russia at that time. The military achievements of the Czechoslovak legions on the French, Italian and especially Russian front became one of the main arguments that the Czechoslovak pro-independence leaders, especially for T.G. Masaryk in America, could use to gain the support for the country's independence by the Allies of World War I. In 1938, servicemen of the Czechoslovak army and the State Defense Guard fought in an undeclared border war against the german back Sudetendorches Freikorps as well as Polish and Hungarian paramilitary forces. As a result of the Munich Agreement, areas heavily populated by ethnic German-speaking people were incorporated into the Third Reich and military-aged men living there were subject to being drafted into the Wehrmacht. In 1939, after the Slovak state proclaimed its independence and the remainder of Carpathian Ruthenia was occupied and annexed by Hungary, the German occupation of the Czech lands followed and the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia was proclaimed after the negotiations with Emil Acha. The Protectorate's government possessed its own armed force, the government army, tasked with public security and rearguard duties. On the other side of the conflict, a number of Czechoslovak units and formations served with the Polish Army, the French Army, the Royal Air Force, the British Army, and the Red Army. Four Czech and Slovak manned RAF squadrons were transferred to Czechoslovak control in late 1945. Croatian Army soldier discusses patrol routes with a Czech Army soldier from 1954 until 1990, the army was known as the Czechoslovak People's Army. Although the CHLA, as formed in 1945, included both Soviet and British-equipped-slash-trained expatriate troops, the Western soldiers had been purged from the CHLA after 1948 when the Communists took power. The CHLA offered no resistance to the invasion mounted by the Soviets in 1968 in reaction to the Prague Spring, and was extensively reorganized by the Soviets following the reimposition of communist rule in Prague. Of the approximately 201,000 personnel on active duty in the CHLA in 1987, about 145,000, or about 72%, served in the ground forces. About 100,000 of these were conscripts. There were two military districts, Western and Eastern. A 1989 listing of forces shows two Czechoslovak armies in the West, the 1st Army at Pribram with one tank division and three motor rifle divisions, the 4th Army at Pisic with two tank divisions and two motor rifle divisions. In the Eastern Military District, there were two tank divisions, the 13th and 14th, with a supervisory headquarters at Trencine in the Slovak part of the country. During the Cold War, the CHLO was equipped primarily with Soviet arms, although certain arms like the OT-64 Scott Armored Personnel Carrier, the L-29 Delphine and L-39 Albatross aircraft the P-27 Pancherovka anti-tank rocket launcher, the VZ. 
58 assault rifle or the UK VZ. 59 machine gun were of Czechoslovak design. Czech BVP-2 firing in Afghanistan Czech Army soldiers to participate in exercise combined resolve at the Joint Multinational Readiness Center in Hohenfels. Germany The Army of the Czech Republic was formed after the Czechoslovak Armed Forces split after the January 1, 1993 dissolution of Czechoslovakia. Czech forces stood at 90,000 in 1993. They were reduced to around 65,000 in 11 combat brigades in the Air Force in 1997, to 63,601 in 1999, and to 35,000 in 2005. At the same time, the forces were modernized and reoriented towards a defensive posture. In 2004, the Army transformed itself into a fully professional organization and compulsory military service was abolished. The Army maintains an active reserve. Paradoxically, the extent of this centralized structure is not recognized by applying the 50-30-20 NATO rule on sustainable military budget. The Czech Republic is a member of the United Nations and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. At the 1999 Washington summit, the Czech Republic joined NATO. Since 1990, the ACR and the Czech Armed Forces have contributed to numerous peacekeeping and humanitarian operations, including I-4, S-4, and U-4 Althea in Bosnia, Desert Shield slash Desert Storm, Afghanistan, Kosovo, Albania, Turkey, Pakistan and with the coalition forces in Iraq. Current deployments, many of the duties of the President of the Czech Republic can be said to be ceremonial to one degree or another, especially since the President has relatively few powers independent of the will of the Prime Minister. One of those is the status as Commander-in-Chief of the military, no part of these duties can take place but through the assent of the Prime Minister. In matters of war, he is in every sense merely a figurehead, since the Constitution gives all substantive constitutional authority over the use of the armed forces to the Parliament. In fact, the only specific thing the Constitution allows the President to do with respect to the military is to appoint its generals, but even this must be done with the signature of the Prime Minister. Structure of the Czech Armed Forces. Click to expand. 4th Mechbed 7th Mechbed 13th Art RGT 25th Ada RGT 53rd Recon RGT Czech Army, Combat Brigade Slash Regiment Location Structure of the Czech Armed Forces consists of two parts. The 153rd Engineer Battalion based in Olomouc was created on October 15, 2008 and is subordinated to the 15th Engineer Regiment. The unit is stationed in the outskirts of the city of Olomouc, in place of the cancelled 156th Rescue Battalion. Active Reserve is a part of the otherwise professional Army of the Czech Republic. This service was created to allow the participation of citizens with a positive attitude to the military. A volunteer needs either to have completed the compulsory military service or to attend six-week training. Then the reservists have to serve up to three weeks a year and can be called up to serve two weeks during a non-military crisis. They are not intended to serve abroad. The reserve presents itself on events like Bana, a military show. The Army of the Czech Republic, to a large extent, currently uses equipment dating back to the times of the Warsaw Pact. During the Cold War, Czechoslovakia was a major supplier of tanks, armored personnel carriers, military trucks and trainer aircraft, the bulk of military exports went to its Comic-Con partners. Replacement of aging or obsolete equipment, or making it at least compliant with NATO standards, is urgently required. Modernization plans include acquisition of new multi-role helicopters, transport aircraft, infantry fighting vehicles, air defense radars and missiles. If possible, the Czech Ministry of Defense selects products that are manufactured or co-produced in the Czech Republic. This includes firearms of the Česka Zbrojovka Uhersky Brod, namely the CZ-75 pistol, CZ Scorpion Evo 3 submachine gun, and CZ-805 Bren and Bren 2 assault rifles. Moreover, the Czech Army is equipped with about 3,000 T810 and T815 vehicles of various modifications produced by the Czech Tatra Trucks Company. Tatra Defense Vehicle Factory ensures licensed production of Pandor 2 and Titus Armored Vehicles. Aircraft such as the Aero L-39 Albatross, Aero L-159 Alka and Lead L-410 Turbolet have been produced domestically as well. At the beginning of 2019, the Czech Ministry of Defense announced its modernization program, consisting of acquiring 210 new modern IFVs as a replacement for the aging BVP-2. Mod approached for manufacturers, VAE Systems, Bills, Rhine Metal and PSM. The cost of the program is expected to exceed 50 billion Czech Korun. Different types of Czech Army uniforms. 
Thanks for watching.